us over to live. Hello again. It's Wednesday. It's time for Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. And uh, since y'all okayed being ready, I will take you into the world of Toril, into the land of the Sword Coast and the Sword Valley proper and the wild things that are going on in those hinterlands even as we speak. When last we saw our heroes, our party of adventurers had made their way towards uh, Umbridge Hill, a place that had a bit of a past for our, uh, our heroes, um, a place where they had lost a friend and lost a, uh, uh, a bit of a, uh, a, a potential friend in the alchemist uh, Abadal, uh, Ab or sorry, What's the pronunciation? Adabara. I always get that one wrong. Um, taken away mid-flight by a manticore, an individual who we discovered after sort of pilfering her home of, uh, of information in the surrounding area, had been in um, a bit of a forced labor situation with this manticore, who goes by the name of Galor. Um... A agreement was struck between her and the Manticore that he would not attack the town of Phandalin and in exchange she would create potions for him and him alone so that he might gather the strength to take back his mountain home from the dragon cryo vein. Uh, and also just gain general power in the area. Manticores are dicks. So um, The party then continued tracking their way from Umbridge Hill uh, towards uh, what they hoped to be the lair of this creature. They came across after uh, many uh, about, about 10 or so miles of journeying, they came across an abandoned quarry um, but they found that had been re-inhabited not only by many piles of corpses but by the missing Atabara. You had found where the manticore was holding her within this quarry uh, underneath a sort of shelf of stone in a, in a sort of cave-like area. Uh, she had been uh, forced over the last few days to continue her services to Galor uh, in creating potions. Um, when you arrived in the hopes of saving her, she begged for you to leave, looking to the sky in the hopes that the creature would not find you or any scent you might leave behind. Uh, seeming a little bit hysterical, a little bit out of, uh, out of her, uh, her, ele her mind. She, you could see that she was malnourished, uh, a bit panicky. Um, you decided this wasn't the best situation to <clears throat> take Adabara back with you. Instead, you decide to hunt down the manticore, uh, which you assume to be in nearby, never never straying too far from its lair. Um, you did manage to uh, track it down, but not in the not in a uh, <laughs> not in a sense that uh, you ambushed it as much as it ambushed you. Uh, in an attempt to attract the creature, you succeeded, but it jumped the party, uh, much like a feline um, a predator. It uh, approached you in the brush, uh, wings <laughs> low to the ground, uh, ripping into a bugbear, a member of your uh, your party, uh, and many uh, many others. Uh, a battle uh, commenced that took mostly to the uh, the manticore going to the air and firing down its many needles from its tail uh, upon you, much like artillery fire these giant spikes slamming into the ground uh, it was all you could do to avoid death uh, firing up whatever you could at its uh, at its uh, altitude advantage um, one of your members pipe or uh, uh, pollen uh, fell in the in the wake of battle um, <laughs> death uh, at uh, her doorstep uh, a this close. This close to being, this close to actually being dead. Halfling luck saving her from a natural one and a death save in the last minute. Uh, you were able to harm uh, Galor enough that it decided that it was not worth the battle any longer uh, to fight those below, and it retreated uh, back in the direction of its lair. Uh, and our party took to their friend Pollen, confirming that she, yes, indeed, did survive her many, many wounds. Uh, and that is where we last left off in the outskirts near, um, 
in your forest if we look over at our uh, map on tabletop sim which i'm not showing to the stream i'm so sorry i don't have that set up um it would just lag me to infinity you guys are in the uh you're in like a uh, a situation the the sort of land that you are in is like it's hilly it's uh, i would say it's a uh, like crags very similar kind of situation um, I would say like uh, uh, t the Lord of the Rings Twin Towers when Frodo and Sam are moving through the rocks a lot. Um, the rocky part, very much that's kind of the situation. Um, but you did find an opening to battle with uh, G uh, Galor, which you are at right now. Um, but uh, the party, wounded, um, it is, uh, that is where we pick back up. Uh, and it is up to you guys what your next steps are in dealing with the Manticore uh, situation I and know. the the captured uh, uh, alchemist. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. That's Tell the. Me. Is it going? Is it working? I'm trying to mind you quietly. Oh, what do you <laughs> have? You got to flip it. What is it? I don't know what it says. <laughs> It says audio question audio. mark. She's making sure. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I double checked that. <laughs> yeah, right opposite me. I'm like, I didn't hear that. Like, oh, yeah. That would have been just great. Fishing for inspiration. Uh, I'll give you inspiration. Take your <laughs> you. take your inspiration. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The question mark. I figured it out a little bit. Okay. Sorry. You are good. Uh, so that is where we are uh, picking up a um, a battle well fought, but not quite won just yet. Um, I will, uh, I'll leave our music as is. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the music. If you can't, uh, I apologize, I gotta, but if you, if you go to the music tab at the very top of your screen, uh, you should have a little thing. I have the idle music going right now. If it's not there, I'm sorry. Tabletop Sim is different. So... What do you uh? What do you guys do? We open the scene. We see all of you sort of uh, huddled around Pollen, who just sort of <coughs> coughed awake, uh, blood still still coming out. Um, I believe you guys had. I believe you, I don't remember if you guys had initiated a short rest immediately after, or if you had not done that yet. Yeah, we were short. I think we decided that we were yeah. spending hit dice and stuff. I meant yep. to do that. So you were pausing. <laughs> you were pausing. Okay. Kind of, kind of pat Pollen on the back, you know, like, like burping the baby kind of thing. <laughs> Blood, <laughs> just like. <laughs> uh, I think I I didn't take any damage that roll because I couldn't even reach the thing. So it yeah. was coming after me. Yeah, it was so only I it only something. managed. It seemed to strategically attack those who could attack it back, so you had some sort of safety proximity there. I well, threw a, I I threw a hand there. axe, so, yeah. That was awesome. Yep. I it was just that... me going the, the whole match. Like, in, canon, in canon, Kalik was, um, I, th I think he was probably firing from the, uh, from the woods um, with uh, Inverna. Missed every shot. <laughs> Are you okay? You, you can... <clears throat> As I rolled my hip dice. Okay. Your voice I... wasn't coming out for a second. I, was kind of weird. I think it's the actual thing in my chest. It's okay, I'm fine. And she drops the whole thick finger out. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I thought I was going to die, guys. But then something like hit me and I came back. It was pretty exciting. I never felt so alive. It feels always, always familiar getting there, but I was really close to my actual family. They were actually now waving to me. It was pretty entertaining. There was an ocean and stuff. I never crossed the freaking ocean before in my old dead type of thingy. I think well, I always got the thing. I'm pretty great. Well, if I die with people waving at me, I think it's pretty fine. I mean, I don't, I don't want to die, but if I die, I need to be positive about it because if I'm not, then I'll freak out. And I don't want to freak out. I guess it depends on whether they're waving hello or goodbye. Ah! Ah! I like what you did there. Okay, now I'm slightly, slightly worried. Mm. <laughs> Rim. 
Yeah. Yilva's gonna pull out some bandages and like help you, like wrap you up. Thank you. Know? Yeah. Yeah, the wounds. You know, we've done this before, so the wounds are quite <laughs> extensive. It's uh, definitely looks like uh, plenty of uh, like like thick, thicker than usual crossbow bolts that have gone effectively in. Um, they have a very um, kind of like a nail substance to them. Feels like a, like the entire thing's made out of human nail. Oh, okay. This they is carefully, disgusting. Carefully remove each of them. Yeah, Thank there's you. like six of them in the in your half wing friend. Oh my god. Oh six. my god. You, but you saw the semi did something, guys. Did you see my weasel? That's a new thing I practiced. It was pretty great. The bow tie and everything, so good. It was very bright. I couldn't really see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But now we know that he's scared of us. So if we go after him, like after I'm the stabity stab, we might actually get him and save Abadala. So, and also, haha, Piper, she's alive for now. I told you. <laughs> Layla, sorry. <laughs> it's true, you did call it. She is alive. I knew it. <laughs> no, sorry. I don't know, it feels like she's in a, like a fever dream, so she's just talking nonsense. She should be probably right now really quiet, but she's just like speeding words. So to save your guys' high listening, I apologize. I will just like oh, no, you're good. Oh. zoom out of my talking. Oh, dear, she might have gone feral. We might have to put her down. Huh. Uh, in Inverna, Inverna just, uh, I think she, there's like a low like laugh. It says, be the easiest gold I've ever won. Listen, I hid much more than you did, and I almost died, and I came back, so... <laughs> hey, the thing's not dead yet. We haven't saved your crazy friend either, the alchemist, so there's still plenty of bet to be had. Well, we're halfway there. We shall see. Mm. I've been counting the whole door right here. <laughs> I'll try not to die this time. Uh. Oh. I cannot guarantee that I'll give you two rounds. I feel like that should put some deduction points on this situation, but... Yeah, yeah is it more, or is it something to brag about to almost die? Like, I feel like it's... I don't think so. Alcohol. Yeah, I would agree. I think we're <laughs> even. Dead even right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, uh, the whole time there's a sort of short rest, since short rest is about an hour's, uh, time, uh, to sort of bandage up your friends, um, in, in Verna, um, just seems restless. Uh, she's, uh, coddling her crossbow, uh, keeping her eye on the sky. You know, points. we're gonna lose the thing if we don't start moving. Did you see which direction it went in? Uh, that's away. Follow yeah. the blood. It flew east, back in the direction of its um, of of the layer that you had uh, you have you were reconning okay. your way from. So we know we know where that is. We don't need to. Like, yeah, yeah. Track you have it a you have a, a well, good thing that your tracker is alive. Your halfling tracker, who who expertly navigated their way to uh, following scat samples and other other situations uh, of, of oh. left behinds of manticores. Um, found that. Have settled for rainbow colored rice or something, you know, like Tenchu. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Manticore's normal yeah. anatomy. All right. <laughs> yeah, you just see Polly just put her whole hand, dip it in to see if it's still warm. <laughs> oh my yes. god, she would too. Can you? Can All right, it's getting real down, Jurassic Park please. up in here. Full Jurassic Park. Yeah, you park. walk up and it's like this <laughs> tall, and you're like. I think we're Jurassic going the right park. way, guys. I... <laughs> it no. smells like east to me. I'm going to shower after this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, um, an hour will pass probably quicker than uh, uh, than you think, especially for those who have been wounded and who, are, who do have to patch themselves up. Um, um, yes. Really quick. Uh, I'm 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 unfamiliar. Inverna has a crossbow. I thought she was a tank. Inverna has Inverna. a crossbow. Yep. She's. I Is mean, 
uh, as far as a tank uh, goes, like obviously in the context of, of like vi like video game like kind of situation. With I mean, this, I, I don't need they... I don't need the crossbow justified or anything. Oh. I'm just here. I'm wondering like who is who is like the oh the tank. Is there the anybody? Park. Well, no, no. Uh, who is the other like primarily ranged character? Like who's going to be doing the shoosting? <laughs> All right, so it's. I have okay. some huh? ranged spells. I... I'm so sorry. Everybody <laughs> went ranged in the scenario when it flew. So I think yeah. that, that, like, Inverna has a big uh, axe. Like, oh, she she's she's definitely yeah, seems like a brawler, but... Uh, I guess I'll just let you know what I'm thinking. I can turn somebody's ranged weapon into a plus one, so I want to know who I'm doing that for. Whoa, okay. Maybe? Because if, if we're taking a rest, I have enough time to uh, modify their weapon. So Pollen carries a crossbow, right? A short, you carry a crossbow. yeah, yeah. So you could, yeah, Small yeah. Small one, yeah. You see, Inverna pull her big one, and you see her be like, "Ha ha!" Little baby. <laughs> yeah, you got your, yeah, your light crossbow, the <laughs> half line one. It's really cute. Yeah, imagine it's like nice. Like it's it's nicely designed, baby sized. Yeah. When Inverna's is just function, just looks like a just looks like an army. <laughs> like crossbow. It's like, a, it's like a two by four with a couple nails yep. and like a, it's like a guard crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> we have to hold that thing if we're trying to shoot that thing. That would be like a whole, whole battle. Whoa. And now I have now my new spiritual weapon, which it's just an actual weasel to explain it. It has a little bow tie on him as well. It's really cute and sparkles, but when he attacks you, he goes rabbit. That's the word. Yeah. Rabbit, so. yeah. Oh, wait, Kyle wasn't here for that, right? It was. The, the spiritual weapon is a weasel. It's a weasel. Yeah. A very, oh very bright, God. sparkly weasel. And, uh, that, that's fantastic. I was a little confused with the weasel stuff until now, so that... I'm sorry, because I saw your face, I'm like, I don't think he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, I... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, spiritual weasel weapon. Yep. Wonderful. Spirit weasels. There will be more. <laughs> uh, Sorry. <laughs> so we got a little gnomish Snow White over here. They're forest animals. How are we heading back then? Yes. I, why not? I believe we should hurry. Before. He still hurts. Oh, we know no, he doesn't want to like hurry. Me. So I will just hide and use my magic game more. Because he doesn't like me. <laughs> And you might jump on his back. Yeah. I Could don't you do that? know if I will have the chance. But... Riding a manticore. Imagine you on it. it. It's like the most badass that. metal album cover ever. <laughs> it's barbarian riding a manticore. Oh my god. <laughs> In the thunderstorm. <laughs> well, it was in the quarry. And no, it'd have to be a blizzard because... I'm Stormlord, but it's Tundra, so... <laughs> we'll make it work. So, yeah. What if we try to take it from both sides? So you try to mount him while we try to shoot him. So we're going to sneak in. So that way, when one of us misses, we hit her? Um, I am not the great planner. I, I find stuff. <laughs> I'm just throwing ideas. I'm still slightly high from all the medication, but overall, I'm The trying. ideas you throw are terrible, especially when you're high from medication trauma. It's okay, I like this plan. Huh? Haha? -ha. You see? Potential. Kaelic, any ideas for me, buddy? Well, if we could get the stronger among us to perhaps pin it down and keep it from being in the sky, that would be beneficial. Though you should hand me your crossbow so I can modify it before we move on. Oh, oh, oh. Dear magic. What about my yes. crossbow? You're going to be doing the holding people down and beating them part of the fight, so I don't think you'll need the crossbow. Never mind, I'd let never let you touch my crossbow, so. <laughs> Probably for the best. It's a family heirloom, very precious to me. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to touch that. It's literally just a splitting plank of wood. <laughs> it's, it's totally canon now. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Oh, so relegated down by generations. It's just this really sad looking. It's a face oh. drawn on it. It's like Plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You, you turn it over upside down, and there's like somebody had once carved their initials into it. Yeah. It's not hers. <laughs> wow. Colin will definitely, if she survives sneaking, get a crossbow and carve something really cute on it later on. Yes, that will happen. <laughs> and she'll hate me forever. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so, sneaking in. Um, you jump. We shoot. Where uh, are you heading back to the quarry? Or are you going to try to search uh, the thing down just in general, or are you going to the going to the quarry? We well, know we, it's at the quarry. Or we we'll assume go. it returned. Yeah, it returned to its lair if it's harmed or hurt or thinks the jig is up. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a safe. Bet. At least. Do I see any floods going there or anything that I like, can definitely indicate that? Yes, yeah. Do you want to like head hard. like and heading that direction like keep a lookout? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, I would like two things. I need a stealth check from everybody, and I need um, I need a both a stealth and a perception check, or I would say survival rather, from um, okay. Pollen. Oh. You know Thirty twenty. Nice. Very Nine. Stuff. What is it? Nice. Give me a second. Oh, wait. Guys? Do you see this? Oh, I fumbled. Oh, no. I have an extra 20 for stealth. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. What's the total? Okay. Uh, 20 plus stealth is for me zero, so it's actually 20. Nice. 20. So, and then you said survival, yes? Yep. All right. Um, I'm missing two numbers. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, I got survival. 29 and 20. Uh, you might be missing mine, which my stealth is a fumble. Uh, so a one. Oh. Yes. Oh. All right. Oh. Great. <laughs> we're going we're to roll well, up to the uh, ten in this um, <laughs> What did... Uh, so that's... Okay, yeah, that's all four of you, and then I just have that to... That should roll. be eleven yeah, for me for survival. One more, one more cool person. Yeah, seven plus four, so that's eleven. Uh, eleven for survival? Uh, okay. Uh, you're able to spot, like, some droplets of blood in the general direction, but nothing that gives you any kind of guaranteed, um, like, uh, placement. Uh, you do know the general direction that it was flying continued to be in the direction back towards the quarry. Um, you all keep to the, uh, to the brush as much as possible, keep to the, the higher stonework of this, uh, sort of, um, uh, very, very rocky terrain, um, trying to keep I'm as low Incredible profile, <laughs> as <laughs> low profile as possible. Um, as you get within, I would say probably a quarter of a mile of the, um, of the quarry, you hear, um, shouts, uh, coming from that direction you hear uh, a deep voice uh similar to that that you heard before of uh galor and you hear uh, a higher pitched voice one that you can only imagine you can only imagine this to be Ab abadara and galor uh arguing and the closer you get the more that becomes confirmed as you hear uh their shouts back and forth wasn't his name galor uh it's galor you guys called him. It's, you guys called him. It's, it's you guys, gay lord. You guys are calling him gay lord. <laughs> so, okay. uh, that is the sure. that is his nickname for the party. Um, yeah, you hear it's a manticore and drag. Yeah, and you hear uh, what sounds like, uh, and as you get even even closer to be able to view the quarry in the distance, you hear what sounds like a smashing of uh, tables and glass, um, and uh, you start to be able to make out the words of this uh, of this heightened argument. Um, uh, you hear uh, Galor. Uh, uh, now you guys, now you guys got me doing it. It's Galor, but you know, it's whatever. It's, He'd be it's more likable. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission accomplished indeed. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you hear him uh, shout out um, uh, right after right after you hear one of uh, Abadala's uh, sort of uh, very high pitched uh, scream uh, as just after a smash of uh, of glass and wood. Abadar, where are they? You will surrender them to me. I am owed it. And uh, you can hear her uh, shout back. Uh, um, I believe 
Yeah, something along the lines of, No! No, you will not have them! You are weak! You will leave this place! They're coming here to kill you! And it's just, Give them to me! No! And you just hear the smashing sounds uh, as you approach um, the plan of attack here. What is it? You guys are trying to stay as stealthy as possible. Um, believing right that... On top. Right on top. You're so right imagine here. like the edge. Like place your place your tokens where you think that you are. Here. Uh, your okay, tokens okay. should be... Uh, each of them should be in front of you. Um... Should have a circle token, like where you think you're, yeah, the direction. Oh, I see the pictures, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there is Abadala, where is he? Um, so who is, who's approaching the edge first to get like a view on everything? Who's, who is the front of I the, will. of the line in this situation? Okay, cool. Um, uh, definitely place yourself on the edge if you feel like you're approaching the edge. Why not? Um... Perfect. That makes sense. As you step towards the edge, since you were the one who rolled a natural fumble, the the uh, you guys were unable to uh, the, the the group check didn't work out. Let's just say that. Oh, uh, and I think uh, as Piper gets to, I, it was more than half the party got under eight uh, or under oh, nine shit. rather. Um, as Piper gets to the edge, um, probably I imagine not even like sort of like ducking down. You illustrate the situation for me, but I'm imagining rocks tumbling down into this quarry. That's an immediate giveaway, but illustrate it. For me, yeah, I, I, so I come over to the edge and there's a kind of a boulder and so I grab the boulder but I can't see well enough and I like to take in a whole scene I don't like to just see snippets yeah. so I lift myself up but then I feel the boulder give way but I'm a wizard I'm not that react I have terrible reaction so it just tumbled down and it was a rather large boulder and then it like, left me completely exposed because you can see me with like that oops face like oh. Yilva has to like grab you <laughs> keep your yeah, to take me back into yeah. a bush but by oh that time God. it was clearly visible that I was there there's just this hand up <laughs> over the thing that goes <laughs> yeah <laughs> the uh yeah you, you're just 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 brazenly trying to get the the picture of the whole situation a few rocks tumble down as you uh, approach the edge and immediately uh Galor, <laughs> like that that big big monstrous lion head looks right up those beady yellow eyes that massive row of teeth <sighs> look they are here give them to me now and she he lunges at uh abadara uh, i would like initiative to be rolled neither side is terribly surprised um so let's get initiatives out and uh, i will Sorry, ask guys. for them after you after everybody <laughs> gets their roll i will start asking for them now uh, let me get mine here for my people this one's going to be for Inverna. Oh, I have to put Inverna down. Inverna is probably, like, here. Uh, just hold your number when you get it, because I want to put these in. There I go. So, Inverna got a... Hey! 21. Ooh, very nice. Let's roll for Galor. Nice. Nice. Goodbye, guys. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> All right, uh, Piper, what did one? you get? I got 18. Nice. Ooh, okay. Makes uh, sense. Pollen, what did you get? 11. Got it. Uh, Yilva, what did you get? Eight. Eight. Okay. Got it. And Kayla, you said you got 21? Yeah. I guess. Dude, nice. Blast again. <laughs> you know, it's catchable. Oh. <laughs> that was last on Monday too, and it got me killed. Well, you didn't. Wait, oh, on Monday. I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I didn't die, but I went down before I could do anything. It was, yeah, it was pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I went with this character. It makes sense. Can I go with it? So let me change our music. Um, <laughs> let's get that going. <laughs> Get the Airbuster theme from Final Fantasy going. <laughs> okay. Um, Kaylook, you were the first to act. Uh, you can see that the where are you? Let's list you in there. I would say that I would say that even though you're not at the edge, I want to illustrate this still, because I'm I'm assuming at some point you're going to be at the edge during your turn. Um 
the manticore is still in its wounded state from the last battle. Um, at least half, more than half, of the quills on its tail have been expended, many of them being used to uh, turn your uh, halfling friend into a shish kebab. And the, <laughs> uh, the, yeah, the situation for the manticore doesn't look great. Something else that's easy enough to illustrate to any of those of you who come to the edge at the beginning of this battle is that most of the uh, sort of alchemy station that was sort of pieced together by Abadara by order of, uh, of uh, Galor's um, of Galor has been just destroyed um, a lot of uh, a lot of tables are flipped over a lot of glasses all over and you can see Abadara and she's clutching three potions that seem to be like sloshing around the glass still filled to the brim uh, she seems to just sort of be trying to keep away from uh, Galor uh, and uh, the minute she sees any of you on the edge I think uh, uh, like she, she's gonna she's gonna shout something but I'll wait for her actually I gotta roll her turn I didn't even think about that. She's she's part of this Natural situation. Oh, great! She's going last. That makes absolute oh. sense. Uh, I think sort of to I think sort of to set the scene as you guys um, uh, approach, though she will uh, uh, and can see the situation as it turns, obviously in the direction. Uh, she will shout. He's weak! I've kept these from him! Kill him! And she's just she's just taking the moment seeing that he is this hurt in a way she's never seen him this hurt. Uh, and uh, I think she's she's put two and two together that you guys are involved. Um, and uh, yeah, that is that is how we start the turn. Kalik, uh, what would you like to do? You have uh, your whole turn ahead of you. Okay. So what he's going to do is he's going to throw his cloak back and let his uh, mechanical arm out. And he's going to check it, take and go, Ch -ch -ch, and you see fins, uh, two rows of them show up on the top of the forearm. And electricity starts to arc between it. He grabs a small projectile weapon from his belt and he sticks it in that. Uh, funnel and he aims it up at the sky and he says, "For house and hold!" and he shoots it and Ooh. shoots a projectile. Fucking railgun! No, it's it's arcing into the air and it explodes, showering a phosphorus material all over the field in a twenty foot cone. And he casts fairy fire. Ooh! So he has to make a that? he has to make a save. saving throw. I Ooh. love that. So poosh, burst down. That's Adventure, such a cool please. way to do that. Um, a what, please? Advantage, please. <laughs> um, oh yeah, oh yeah, for the <laughs> If thing. it succeeds, yeah. Dexterity saving throw. Cool, I have my number. My roll. Can I use my inspiration to incur disadvantage? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wish I were really. He got a 15 plus 3. So, he's at Ah, well, that's minutes. not high enough. So, I no, guess... Oh, uh, you're level 3. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no in my, in my head. Yeah, spell save DC is enough. like 19 and a half. So. It burst down. Um, uh, you were avoiding Ab Abadara in this situation? Just yeah. Galor. Okay, cool. It burst yeah. down. Uh, and I think, uh, yeah, I, I'm imagining like how he gets out of the way of this blast. I think he just lunges back. What it does do effectively, it puts space between him and Abadara. He has to lunge out of the way. Uh, so I'm imagining like he's like back here, um, not wanting to be affected by the spell. Immediately looking up frustrated, all those rows of teeth grit together in the direction of the party. <sighs> Damn you. And, um, yeah, that's your action. You still have a movement and bonus. Yeah, I'm going to use my uh, free action as I'm... Uh, it's difficult to tell distances on this map. Um, um, oh, we are assuming a lot, of, a, a, lot of, a lot of distances are assumed. There are rulers, but there's no way for me to set something up statistically. We could do so a grid. We just assume that it's like well, five feet for our what bases? We, what we could do um, in this situation, if we want to use a grid, I can turn it on. Um, the um, I'm just I'm just wondering if I need to be exact or if I can just eyeball um, it. Um, I I thought it was fun when we eyeballed it last time. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. felt like okay. it wasn't really a big uh, issue, uh, and it made it feel light. So okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use my free action, seeing that my uh, badass opener completely whiffed. Uh, I'm going to okay. shout down to him. You suck! <laughs> oh my god. Imagine he says it more elegant than that. That's how to... <laughs> as, 
I was trying to. Uh, Your father was date. a hamster. <laughs> I can't remember what character it is. It's either from The Simpsons or Family Guy, but there's that guy that just always says, "You suck." <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, canonly, he will probably just curse under his breath and then shuffle away. All right. Yeah, moving to a more advantageous position. Love it. Um, it is. Uh, is uh, oh, his name was Garor. That was oh, I had uh, Gal Gal Galor. <laughs> Gal yeah, he's, trying, he's trying really hard to spell it, not Galor. I just, I, it was a name I had to make up in the moment because the book doesn't have a name for him. <clears throat> that was so oh, really? Book. Yeah, he has no name. Uh, I gave him more importance because you guys let him get away. Uh, this is actually not a part of the thing. So. <laughs> you, you were supposed to kill him at the thing. <laughs> but you lost. The, um... Okay, so, on his turn... Yeah, no. He, he's gonna take that opportunity with that whiff, and you guys haven't done anything yet, you've been exposed. He's going to lunge at Abadar and try to get those potions away from her right now. Right now. Alright, one of his, uh... One of his mo attacks is gonna be a, um... Is it gonna be a grapple to get that shit from her? Uh, so we see, um, the tail, uh, immediately sort of whip out at her, trying to just wrap themselves around, um, the, uh, the potions in her arm and just rip away, uh, what she's got to, to get for himself. Um, the... So he's gonna make a check, and she's going to attempt to resist. So we're going strength. Um. Oh, we got a not natural 20. Okay. Oh, shit. She can't hold him away anymore. Uh, the, uh, I think, uh, I think effectively what happens is the tail sort of whips back at her, uh, almost, uh, uh knocking her to the side in, in, like, a dazed situation, and then as she's sort of completely knocked off her guard, the tail wraps around, uh, the potion sort of splitting into, uh, into the sort of three at the end that it was when it does its little spikes. Um, so it's like a long tail with, like, three deviations at the end. Uh, each of them wraps around one of the three potions in her uh, in her grasp and he will use his remaining two uh, attacks to gobble those down right now but he is not thirsty so he cannot <laughs> gobble us well, we see we see the uh, the two tails go over he opens his big maw we see the teeth as the uh, as the um, the liquid just pours down his maw he chokes. <laughs> <I> chokes. <laughs> totally Roll to drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get that natural one. <laughs> <laughs> he chokes and he's done. <laughs> he asphyxiates on the ground. You see, as some of his wounds seal the bolts uh, um, that were in his body before, the wounds almost push them out and they fall. <laughs> to the ground and you see him recover in mere seconds uh, and that smile comes to he's got one more of those potions in his tail um, and he's going to use his movement to immediately um, oh man he's just he's just gonna he's gonna get up in the uh, oh, does he want to get yeah he doesn't he needs to get up for sure get up but the potions he's using what do they like do they look like the potion I have the three potion I have um, similar, but, but different. The liquid itself looks to be very, very dark, very, um, um, I would say, um, thicker liquid, not, not, uh, yours is well refined. Um, and this is, this seems like something a lot rougher. Uh, okay. Time to move this boy. So, the same, same color that ours is blue? Um, no. His, well, okay. sim similar, actually similar color, I would say, but this one's much, much darker. Much, much yeah. darker. But the same hue. Of yep, blue. same hue of blue. You're gonna drink an orange hue. All right. Uh, it is... won't help me. Who, who's still hurt after our short rest? Oh, I, I have some hit points. I I'm usually weaker. I usually have 19. Now I have 16. Uh, yeah. I'm good. They're never I, I feel like I want to pass it to you before I do any of my <laughs> shit. But that that'll come. Remind me. We see him. Why don't we just drink that? Thing? <laughs> he takes to the air, um, moving uh, moving up. Uh, 
Uh, and the uh, as he sort of turns the rest of the party, he's still got that one potion curled into one of those uh, one of those three tails at the end, uh, and he just looks down at all of you with a smile. The other two uh, sort of you can see them extend, almost locking in the next tail spike to uh, to fire down on you. I think we even hear the like almost like a <laughs> like simple like almost kind of situation where he's about to gonna, fire down the shit. He's gonna cap us with a gas. He's gonna cap you. <laughs> um, and yeah, he lifts to the sky. That is all three of his uh, uh, actions and his movement. And it how, is how high did he fly up? Um, by numbers, quarry, right? by numbers, fifty, uh, fifty feet. Um, but he was below us. He equally uh, was below us, you. Right? So, like, I- I- I'll tell you when he's like effectively out of range. If we want to, if we want to do exact numbers, he is forty feet in the air. Okay. okay. So I was just wondering if he was more, even actually, with like our shelf or more not. More like thirty-five feet in the he air. He rises like with a single grin with our eye level. That's at, what I'm at, at his current height, do not like his distance and height aren't different. So count him as if he was on the ground, unless you're trying to do melee. All right. Yeah, I was just wondering if he's like because we're because we're kind of overlooking the shelf yeah. into the quarry. He has lifted yeah. out of the quarry. <laughs> oh, he's up and out now. Yep. He's way out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she Abadara is knocked prone at the moment. Okay. She's not dead, though. I have to grab the dying. Nope. Check and use. Oh my um, god, like... it, uh, it is Piper's turn. You know what? He really needs something to slow him down, so let's ray a frost it. Yes. Um, I go, oh, hey! This might help you, and I pass it to Piper, my okay. blue potion. Um, and then I turn, and I just stand my ground and I kamehameha <laughs> ice into the air at him, which it goes 60 feet. So I have to make a ranged spell attack. Fuck okay. yeah. Uh, hmm, not nine. Nine? No! <laughs> So yeah, he flaps uh, his way into the air. You cast out magic, and it soars past him. A wing sort of tilt to the side to to move out of the way of the blast, but it arcs close, unable to connect uh, with the body of the creature. Um, you have your movement and a bonus action left, a possible bonus action if you have such a spell. Uh oh, up, up, up. I. Um, I do have a bonus action spell. Yep. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna do a, and then cast Dragon's Breath on me. So that way, okay. Next turn, I can spend the spend the spell slot, and yeah, you you feel yep. the just like the like the sort of burp of, of flame come up from below. We can see just sort of the heat from uh, underneath your chest, a light inside of you as you uh, imbue Dragon's Breath upon you. Um, your uh, spell slots are adjacent to your to your thing. Oh, right thank you. Yep. yep, they're right there. Um, the that is your action bonus action. Do you want to move anywhere that you don't want to be on this uh, little map? Why would I want to move? This seems like a perfectly fine place to be. Yeah, I haven't gotten it does. Hurt. Uh, Pollen, it's your turn. You see the well. creature that brought you near to death. Um, Abadara knocked down. She's definitely in danger. What do you want to do? No, I will shake my hands and create, it looks like I'm cradling something, and I'm going to summon my spiritual weapon, which is the weasel. Oh you know, no, gonna, it's Bane. I am going to throw that weasel at him. Like, come buddy, kill him. <laughs> and just yeah. like that. I think, I think before we use like one of, uh, one of your dice to represent, I'm just going to take this, this pink D10. You just want to put it like right on top of him, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we see the weasel. You shoot it out again. Uh, goes right towards him. You can see him just already getting ready to back up. Not not comfortable with the situation. And uh, the weasel gets an attack, I believe, um, yes, when you does. summon it. So let's see what that looks so, like. Let's see. I'm trying to read really quickly because I don't have my two screens today. So I'm like, eh. No, you're so, good. So, on, okay, one D10 my spell modifier. Yep, and it should so be your spell. Be it should be your spell attack. Um, 
for uh, for damage. Which should be you are a bar or no you're a cleric, so it would be plus four. That is not a that is a D eight. You gotta roll to hit. Yeah, you need a D twenty. Can do it. Can do it. Eight plus four is twelve. Uh, it goes to uh, it goes to rip at the uh, uh, manticore, and it just gets one big claw right in the face. Um, I don't think it. Uh, I don't think it. Does it fly? Okay, cool. Then it's just sort of up there in that area. It gets one sort of claw. I think it just sort of rips out at the thing and knocks it to the side. So it doesn't, it isn't able to contact and one claw just comes out and just knocks the weasel, goes spinning about 10 feet away from it in another direction. No. Okay, if it's a bonus action, can I actually now shoot it with my crossbow? Um, I believe the spell itself that you're using was a bonus action and an action to attack. Isn't it the whole thing? It's an action for it to be summoned, I think. Let okay. me see. Uh, because I'm reading here and it's like bonus action. I'm like, okay, maybe it's a bonus action thing. I don't I'm know. Not sure. it, it is, but I, I'm wondering if the if you get a free attack too. I think you might. Um, I think it's allowed to go on the turn at some time. I just don't know if that consumes your action. I don't think it does. Well, it's called um I just want to confirm. I haven't I haven't we haven't used this spell a lot. Um it is Spiritual Weapon. Show me the weapon. Yeah, I believe it should just get an attack automatically. Um, when you cast the spell, you can make a melee spell attack against a creature. With perfect. Feet. Doesn't yep. consume an action. Yeah, you can fire normally. Fire. Now I'm gonna fire my uh, crossbow because I'm like, go, my pretty, and I pull out my really cute crossbow and I just try to shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> you fire. Remember, you get a plus one bonus to the crossbow. Do it. Oh. Um, Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Somebody bumped the table <laughs> before you looked. <laughs> no, I saw it. That's a two. <laughs> Tilted. Um, yeah, you fire, uh, you fire it up, but I think in the middle of seeing your your weasel just get hit, we can hear just sort of the yipe come from it. Uh, it's sort of spectral <laughs> form, and I think you just like fire off in a in a in a, uh, a direction, kind of jolting your aim. <laughs> I would say my shoulder is still slightly hurt, so I didn't expect, like, I moved it too quickly, and the pain was like, oh, that still hurts, and that that's why. Just some shrapnel in there, you know? That makes more sense. Yeah, you go to lift, Ugh, I feel the pain in you. Yeah, the, the, the shot doesn't go off as, uh, as intended. Awesome. You still have movement if you want to be somewhere else? Hmm, let's see. You're currently right here. I feel behind somebody. Yeah, yeah, you're behind Viper. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay behind Viper right now. It is Yilva's turn. So... Okay. <laughs> What's up in the air? Breaches for Javelin. <laughs> if, uh, I don't have any. <laughs> I know, nothing's there. Uh, if I... He's not accessible via jump. Um, not without a, with a spell jump, possibly, but not with a normal jump right now. He's at least 35 feet of the ground. He's got 50 feet of fly movement, so he's We're the max of that. start chucking halflings at him? I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Matters gonna... Matters at the weight of that. Yilva's gonna kind of keep sword and shield away, but she's gonna have her hand axe out just in case. Okay. Just uh, I'm gonna move closer to pollen out of curiosity can could yilva take an item from somebody if it was given like yeah. freely yeah you can you can take someone else's item okay. uh from them if if they haven't spent their free action to propose the item to you um then you would need an action to like to get it from them to like you gotta like go on their person if somebody's holding something out you can just free action grab it uh right. as your free action for the turn but if they don't have the thing out that you want um, you can use a full action to get a thing from them. All right. How about, uh, since you don't have anything to do, I can toss you my crossbow. Yep. You can spend your action and have Kalik have tossed it to you. You could be like, give me your crossbow 
and it'd be uh, sure. Yeah. Um, I, I would like, but I guess I would like, um, the only thing I'd like you to do with that move is make a, uh, I would say a dexterity saving throw. Well, if, uh, if you have enough movement, you could just move to me and I could hand you. The yeah. If you just want to do it that way, that's easier <laughs> for sure. Can you I have, make, can I make uh, it? Yeah. Figuratively yeah. toss the crossbow. Yeah. Not I like, was, I, he hadn't moved yet, on. so I'm like, you're tossing it over this, like, ravine thing, like, here, and I'm like, alright, that's pretty he, he, like, he goes to toss it, and I just kind of, yeah, and, and walk. Move over there, absolutely. And just put, put her hand yeah. out. Yeah, you can, it could be like a, like a swift toss between people five feet away, absolutely. <laughs> and you can grab that. Um, you still have your bonus, probably cock and load it, and, uh, the, yeah, whatever no, else. doesn't. I hand it over and I'm like, just pull the trigger. It's yeah. auto loading. It doesn't need ammo. Just aim it. <laughs> I uh, never used one, but okay. Remember my training. <laughs> the the crossbow the crossbow should have loading, right? It doesn't. Um, the crossbow when, itself doesn't have loading. Well, the crossbow itself does, but the enhancement that I put on it makes it ah. so that it auto loads. I I, I yeah. wanted to make sure it was a is one of your things. Okay, that's amazing. Yes, it is an right. artificer thing. That is really like, cool. It, it has two little arms. I didn't know if you had crossbow part. expert. Yeah. No, yeah, it's it's the item that has it. That's awesome. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Just like loads. That's amazing. Hmm. All right. I, like um, I don't believe you're going to want to burn your, your rage bonus action here, Yilva, unless you unless you want to go for it. Um, I'm, I'm going to hang out of those because I only have um, a couple of them left, so... <laughs> Verna lifts her crossbow. <laughs> uh, and then she's like, don't need nothing fancy. Just a good old board and some nails. <laughs> just fire, fire crossbow. Um, Damn, I hope it misses. <laughs> uh, there is a creature within five feet, so she would have advantage. Um, which works. That's awesome. <laughs> You're actually helping her. Uh, all right, so let's get these out. See how she does here. Um. So actually, yeah, she hits. Uh, advantage, uh -huh, absolutely. Okay. Let's see how much she does here. Oh <laughs> shit! She did max damage. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Uh, oh. yeah, she drops ten right into uh, Galor. Uh, I think we see it, it's, yeah. its mouth is sort of open. It's a, a, a situation we see the grin where it's, um, I'm going to tear you guys up. And we see the shot. She just steadies it. She's got her board and nails. And I think there's one crooked nail at the end. That's like the aim. And she's like, old reliable, don't <laughs> fail me now. <laughs> and she fires it off. And we see from like a GoPro cam of the arrow as it plunges right into the mouth and goes right up under this side of the uh, of, of the rim of her rim of her mouth uh, uh, of its of his mouth and uh, it just tears up and blood just spurts out <laughs> just immediate like roar of pain um, as a fucking max damage Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. oh god yeah <laughs> it's, it is harried by that blow um, and I think it just, I think it probably just goes straight through. Old Reliable yeah. was pulled really, really far back for that first shot. Um, it is Kate. Well, let's see if she wants to move. Yeah, I think she doesn't want to be, just move down here. She runs, just like getting ready to load up the next shot. Do it the old fashioned way. And it's, uh, Kalik's turn. All right. So I just, uh, I failed myself with my crossbow, so now I'm back to good old cantrips. Uh, we're gonna use... Well... Old Reliable. I'm gonna use Acid Splash. <laughs> oh yeah! Ooh, that's awesome. I haven't seen that one in forever. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another... Uh, projectile off of my belt, load it into my gauntlet, and then I'm going to catapult it into the air, and it explodes when it reaches a certain uh, height and just showers acid. Um, you're just, you're so. just Batman. You've got a utility belt. That's all this is, <laughs> okay. right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm Batman. 
He pulls one of the capsules off and he's like, ha ha! <laughs> I will, uh, I will. I need a dexterity saving dexterity throw, saving yeah. Throw. Let's do that. So. <laughs> 10 plus 3. Oh, that just makes it. Oh, he oh, saves. It blasts in the air. He's still sort of, uh, yeah, it's still, it's still got that, he, that huge bolt that, that went straight through blood pouring out of its mouth. But as it hears the sort of dev your device launch, <laughs> immediately takes evasive maneuvers to, uh, to spin, tucking its wings in and just moving over to the side to avoid the blast radius. <laughs> uh, the acid sprays to the ground, dots the floor, hits many of the corpses sort of piled up. Um, that uh, Garor has uh, created. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, we see a blast. Uh, that is your action. You still have a bonus, you still have your movement. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll move here. Okay. Uh, that'll, that'll be what I do. All right. Oh, um, I suppose this should be a good enough time. I guess I will uh, summon my uh, steel companion. Okay. Is that a, my... that's just a bonus? Well, he, technically, he's supposed to be around me at all times. Oh, I'm, I'm oh. essentially just gonna have him just. Okay, just here is your steel companion. You don't need hey, to right? Hey, nice. Uh, no, no. Hey, no. nice. It's a, it's a D12. <laughs> there you go. He's there. Um, yeah, one of the best dice. The I'm sure you probably track his HP somewhere on your. Oh no, it's a D12. Oh, I took that oh, no. from. I took that from. Uh, I'm sorry. I took that from. The here, person. take my D12. <laughs> I don't use it. Okay, there, there you go. go. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, you should be able to keep track of his. Do you know their HP, their stat block, and everything? Because yeah. I don't actually have that. Perfect. Yeah. You, I, I trust you to, to keep track of his HPs. Um, the if you need another, actually, that would help you for sure. Here, just so you're not having to. Here's a here's an HP for him. You can just set perfect. It. Um, all right. It is Garo's turn. He is going to load up. Uh, first, he's gonna he's gonna sap that last sip that last potion up, uh, put it in his bloody <laughs> bloody mouth. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. All right, yeah, he he chugs it down. We see the the wound inside his mouth immediately beginning to heal. The blood no longer dripping out, uh, and we see the tail kind of just a wipe. Just wipe the rest, uh, rest of his mouth and just that grin behind it as he goes to fire down. Who has been... Okay, Kalix definitely been an issue. Um, Pollen, for sure. All right, oh, Kalix and Pollen. Kalix and Pollen. So first one to Kalix. Um, tail Spike coming your way. At me, sucker! Um, that will be a total of 20 to hit. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate for him, because uh, that hits and attracts my ire, and okay. he will die. For oh, this. <laughs> I thought you were like, I was like, shield. Uh, the all right, tail spike. Oh, do, I, do I have shield? Hold on. I didn't on. know. I didn't know if you did. If you had enough, like, uh, uh, situation. No, I don't have shield. Ten points of damage as a bolt lunges straight into you, firing. I think lunging into your shoulder. Ah. Dick. Um. The <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do HP on your sheet or on your HP oh, uh, marker. Completely yeah. up to where you want to put it. Uh, as long as you're. No, I. It. I was updating it on uh, roll twenty. Oh, you. <laughs> Is it's just habit. I like I've got my character sheet open there too. Oh yeah, you're good. So. Uh, as long as if your computer can handle that, I'm totally cool with it. Uh, the because that's a good resource as well. The next one is coming at pollen. Wants that ferret gone. Is is there oh, any way I can be in the way for pollen? Um, if you would have taken the dodge action on your turn, if you take your dodge action your next turn, I think I will. I think I will allow you to do like a reactionary take the hit. I, I like that idea. Um, oh. uh, if you prep your turn to defend your friend, I'm absolutely into it. Because there are actually abilities that are reactionary to, to do stuff like that. Shieldmaster, it's pretty cool. Um, so this will fire into uh, into you, Pollen, because I don't believe you can block a 23. So you will take ooh, 11 points of damage. Oh my 
As another one. I'm rolling hot. I got a 7 and an 8 on the D8 oh die. God. So that fires down. You take 11 points. I need a concentration check on the uh, on your ferret. This is a 20, yeah, for my concentration, yeah? Uh, yep, just a, just a flat D, or D20 plus your constitution modifier. It's a oh. constitution saving throw, effectively. Okay, so that would be my... Judge really be quickly my sheet. Ah! I'm so blind, I can't see it. This this manticore rolls too well. My constitution is... Yeah, bitch. I've noticed. Sorry. He rolled heavy last episode, too. I cannot tell, honestly. I'm sorry, um, I don't see. Your, so, it's because it's a little bit of a different sheet. You just go to the actual stat, and you should be able to see. So, it's, it's zero. It's zero. zero. Yep. So just a d20, you want above a 10 to keep your ferret. Spiritual weapon. Oof! He fades away. The shot fires. You remember... Uh, you're, getting, you're getting memories from, from last time. Um, the, uh, yeah, the shot hits you. I think, it, I think it lunges, like, it's very, very close to one of your previous wounds as he shot you up pretty bad last time. The pain is too much for you to keep the arcane um, sort of instructions in your head straight and uh, you're unable to hold on to the spell itself. Uh, that's the only two attacks he did because he used one of them to heal up. Um, he's just, he's looking rough, but not, not terrible. He's not bloody. Um, yeah. I'll keep that in mind. So, Piper, you're next. Okay, uh, Pollen, do you wear armor? I do. Okay. Um, then never mind. I... I have 17 armor, but he always hits, like, over 20. I know. <laughs> no, I, I get it. I... How long has it been since the last battle? How long is a short rest? An hour. An hour? Okay, and then how long did it take us to get back to where we were? To here? Like, to here. Probably another half hour or so. Sweet. Okay. And then... Okay, so what... Uh, and he hasn't flown up at all, has he? Um, on his turn, no, he's, he's staying here. He's, he wants to try and kill you right now. He hasn't, he hasn't gone up any further. It's very oh, adequate yeah. right now. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's, let's damn him for not coming closer to me. So quick question. Never how, would. <laughs> how far distance away am I from him? From, from him, line. if I had to give you a number right now, about 35 to 40 feet. Damn it! I wish you would give me numbers I like. <laughs> he can move 50 <laughs> feet, so I know that, and I know that the uh, the quarry he was in is only about 15 feet high, so he's at least 35 feet up there. Okay, and so I haven't done content, I've not done characters who have heavy concentration get tra concentration skills. Mm -hmm. So if I want to cast a different spell, I have to do a concentration check or it just breaks nope. my last concentration. So it just means that yeah, it means that as if you cast a spell it's concentration, that is your concentration spell you have. If you if you use any other concentration spell or if you get hit and aren't able to make a constitution save, you will lose that previous con thing. You can always it's, it's the idea of you can only keep one spell in your mind at a time. Focusing on another one that requires um, concentration okay. will lose it. Yeah. Okay, but if I do a spell that's not concentration, then you're fine. Concentration is a is a tag to certain spells. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank you for tolerating my dumbery. No. Um. Not dumb. Then, Stop. I can. Fuck, sure. Why are all of these making me making ranged spell attacks? This is stupid. Okay. You're you're a wizard. Wizard, buddy. <laughs> Fireball this butthead. This is the worst situation for Piper. He has to be a, the thing he is. I know, right? Okay, I'm gonna firebolt him. Absolutely. So hardcore. Absolutely. The right didn't work. Oh, 20! But not nat like not natural. Yeah, dirty. Uh, absolutely hits. Dirty 20. Uh, give, yes! me that D give me that D10. Shit. Come what? on here. Where did I put you? There you are. Nope, that's not it. I'm just gonna do the other D10 you put down. My metal one. There you are. Okay. Give him a spin. Woo! Hey! hey. Oh, no damage! Hey. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, it just arcs up. This this sort of 
complete moat of fire, you lunge. Uh, I think you probably anticipate since he's like rolling, dodging, like where is he? Where he's gonna be? I mean, you are pretty intelligent, and you fire that moat of uh, flame up. It blasts, hitting one of the wings. It cascades across, and we see the bits of uh, fire rain down. The blast scorching one side, and you know you got that hit because you hear it just, just roar out in pain uh, from the blast. Um, excellent. It is bloodied by that. Uh, by that. Hells yeah. Yeah. Um, and I laugh raucously, but I can't take a dodge. Doing the dodge is dodge a bonus. Is a, that is a full is action. It's a full action. Okay, then. Yeah. Sorry, Pollen, if you get punched the, in the face again. The, um, uh, you still have a movement. If you want. Yeah, and, I'm not moving. I'm, here's been so useful. And the only way I would want to move is up, and that's not capable. <laughs> I'm just thinking now for the future, this is up to you. Dragon's Breath on um, on your Barbarian, Yelva, would, uh, would also be really good for the future. But then I, I'm sorry, my character is selfish, and I yeah. need to look That's cool. very I, true. I was going to say, that's there's no way true. she's, Piper's uh, not going to. No, hate, that's hate a Piper spell. Anyway, that's so. a Piper spell. Exactly. If it was a playing, if, if, if Piper was a good person who had, like, yeah. knew how to share, but sharing is not caring in his mind. If you're happy with your placement, Pollen, you're next. Okay, I'm going to use inspiration, so okay. I can maybe get something. Yeah. And I'm going to use guiding bolts. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's we'll see those 2d20. Oh, weasel's gone. She's in pain. <laughs> yeah, you got another <laughs> bolt right in there. <laughs> you just, like, pretty much do, like, gun. <laughs> just uh. So we shall see if I hit. So with my inspirations. Yep. 2d20s. <laughs> no way, Paula. No. Not yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for my dice. No, where'd you put your dice? Where'd you put them? Is there one in front of you? Yeah, that, she's D12 got. I believe. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a d12. A nine. Uh, um, the bonus is four. four. Uh, not a hit. You got. You can roll one more time because you have inspiration. Oof. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> That was a six. Um, no. Oh, man. All right, spend the spell slot. God, I'm so sorry. The beam of light cascades up. The manticore is able to barrel out of the uh, out of the blast, um, uh, avoiding avoiding the hit uh, narrowly. 13 is close. Um, your major spell expended. Is there anything else that you want to uh, do? I'm trying to figure out if I have anything else to you do. You shouldn't have, uh, since, since you spent a spell slot on a major action, you don't have a bonus available to you unless it's a class feature, uh, or sorry, a race feature or background feature, but the, um, you still have a movement if you want to place yourself elsewhere. Um, you know, she looks really, really, she's gonna just pretty much like, just like, she's just swearing behind Piper right now. And just like hold your arm, just like be like, this is not what I'm about. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you in pain, blood dripping down. Similar situation, Yelva. Um, I did better before. Kyle, you it could be going crossbow? good. It could not. Yeah, crossbow. The crossbow. You uh, you I have get a bonus, right? Because I'm not proficient, or um, let me see your. I've got plus one dex. She... Let me just see what you're proficient in over here. Um, no, you have all weapons. You're fine. Simple and martial. You cover everything. You get your proficiency. So it's your dex no, plus your proficiency That's bonus. Okay. Simple and martial. Where do you see that? That is in the bottom left hand uh, box of your character. Weapon martial. Simple. All right. All right. Yeah, you know how so to I use get, it. Uh... Really. Yeah, yeah. Plus one to this. She cannot do the final blow. That she cannot do that final blow. I refuse for her to do the final freaking blow. <laughs> is it a, is it a plus one crossbow, uh, Kyle? Yes, it is. Perfect. So you get a plus so, one plus the two from your proficiency plus your dexterity is your attack bonus. Oh, it's so a plus four. Perfect. Two because it was sick. All right, cool. I know that's oh, yeah. better than I thought. Maybe. Okay. Ciao. See, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Very nice. That 16? is a hit. That is a hit. <gasps> yeah, um, what's, uh, is it a light, damage? light or heavy? That's uh, a light. One d eight. Oh, one d eight. Okay. Okay. One d eight plus your dex. Plus one. Eight plus one. Whoa! Nine. Whoa! Heavy, heavy shot. Um, yeah, it fucking oh, yeah. launches so like, up. 
Yeah, it's 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 like uh, the Kayla cans her this thing, and he's doing whatever. So she kind of, sort of a, uh, kind of moves up, maybe like puts her foot down and kind of skids a little bit as she brings the crossbow up. And uh, oh, no wow. trigger discipline, just immediately pulls the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lunges, slamming, poof, right into the thigh, goes right through, right through the meat of that muscle. Uh, another horrible roar from the creature, indicating its pain. Um, she reaches down to reload, and there's no reload mechanism. It just it just loads up the next one, ready for you. What's great is you could use it in multi attacks. You could you could use it in multi attacks. So it's which is amazing. I I almost wonder if this should be if 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 the artificer doesn't get extra attack if this needs to be the barbarian's weapon. <laughs> at, the, at the beginning of every battle. <laughs> Here you go. Do, 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 do. Um, I love it. That's your action. Um, you still have your movement. Unless uh, you're cool with where you are. Movement doesn't mean move... quite as much without a grid. So, yeah, I will fine. still ask uh, for it. Once she fires the shot, I think looking over at Pollen and seeing how things are going over there, um, figuring Kalik can take care of himself, should move back and uh, and come up behind. Okay. Behind Pollen. Yep. You know what's pretty stupid? Hmm. Uh, we would have to look it up because this would be abused. Um, but if handing over a weapon is a free action, uh, literally we could just trade the crossbow back off. and forth. You can it doesn't reload. <laughs> <laughs> we could actually just line our characters up. <laughs> I mean, as long as you guys are spending your respective actions, I don't see a problem. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is pretty... <laughs> um, that's pretty silly. Yes. The I have a feeling there's a rule in there somewhere, but I don't care. Uh, the, uh, you'll I, I dig it. That's your turn. It. You've got it. Yeah, it's loaded up. Yep. I'm um, not raging because there's no woodstock. Inerva aims right old reliable. Looking down that crosshair, that bent nail. Oh my god, she hits. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a hit with 18, so, uh, big ol' heavy crossbow, poof, lets another one out, she got loaded up halfway run last turn, so here we go. Okay, only two this time. She goes <laughs> through, goes through a wing, <laughs> you can see the hole ripped through, uh, one of the wings, uh, and, uh, she goes to load up another one and keeps moving, I think she's just, she's just running around trying to... Move and shoot, move and shoot. Um, it is the next person's turn, which is... Oh, do I have Kalik? two? It should be Kalik, but it renamed it. Oh, wait, no, no. Okay, yeah, here we go. There was too many things on my uh, my dice counter. Uh, Kalik, it is your move. Okay. So Kalik is going to come over here. And then he's going to take off the head of his staff, and he's going to toss it up at uh, Pollen, and it's going to activate and start strobing light at the um, at Garor. Okay. And he casts Sanctuary. Ah, so Pollen is Sanctuary. The Sanctuary spell itself, it has to make a Wisdom save to even attempt to attack that creature. If it fails, it has to attack a different creature. Yes. Yep. <gasps> Love it. So much. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm assuming there is a discrepancy here. There's a, a difference in terrain between the grass and yeah. where I'm at. Sweet. Uh, if I were to go prone, does that make me completely untargetable? No, it just makes you have it. Uh, you have it. Uh, it has disadvantage at range to hurt you. Right, right. But the, there's like at least let's say five feet of cliff in in front of me because you know there's there's a difference in terrain there. You would get if some go... um from its height. And the angle that it's at, I would say Three maybe, cover? maybe give you the plus two. Maybe give you the plus two. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to go prone, and I'll, I'll take that plus two. Okay. Um, and that's um, my turn. Perfect. I'm just going to um, flip you upside down. My, my steel defender is going to come over here and give me the help action. Um. Okay. For the next 
task? <laughs> for, for my next ability check. For your next ability Whatever check. Whatever that may okay. be. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> then he is actively uh, doing that. I love it. The next turn is... <laughs> I love because you know it's going next. It's like, alright, get him down. <laughs> We're bunkering up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Garo is going to fire out. Um, who's been hurting him? Uh, we have a barbarian who's been hurting him. We have a uh, elf lady who's been hurting him. And we have a piper who's been hurting him. So all those people Not this time. <laughs> causing him pain. But in this moment, I think he's going to just focus one person. He's not going to be foolish and spread out his stuff. Who hurt him the most? I Nobody. believe it was Yilva? I think Yilva, right, I think Yilva hurt him the most. Uh, Let's go, bitch. So these are, uh, what is your, what's your armor class? 15. Perfect. Um, let's get these. He's not going to hit. He hit me with a 23. Okay, two of them managed to hit you. Oh, okay. So you got sanctuary the wrong person. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. I was, I was just thinking who's causing him the most pain. It's probably better you sanctuary the person that's closest to death, so. Um, these are... Just ignore them, gone again. Because he would just have to redirect to someone else, wouldn't he? She's uh, yeah, he, had to commit, he had to commit three of them to use. Uh, oh man, the the spikes are actually uh, they don't they don't do two they don't they don't do quite as two of them does to you what one of them does to anyone else. You take eleven yeah. points of damage um, from two spikes. One of them manages to miss you, rails its way into the ground, but you only take eleven. Um, She's just bringing up her bracers, are. like trying to, you know, yeah, shrug them off. He's going to, uh... 11, you said, total? 11, yep. <laughs> um, seeing that he can afford it, he's going to put some more range between him and you guys. Okay. So he flies up further. And I think he's also gonna... Let me just... While he's flying up... Three quarters cover. While he's flying up, he's gonna just... Whatever kind of distance he can kind of put this corner feels good yeah yep just to get the lay of the lane he doesn't want anyone behind him anymore nerve of shooting at him um all right it is it should be um, my turn i think i go after him. Yep. yep piper's turn okay quick so now how far is he from he's at a long range for sure numbers wise i would say Probably at least he's he's above sixty. Let's just say that because most spells are around that. He's he's yeah. any sort of sixty foot spell can probably still connect, um, but that's the extent. Okay. Spell or range attack. I am gonna do a squat. I'm gonna do a squat. And cast jump on myself. So you can tell I'm like, Ooh. my jump is preparing oh. little squatty squats. And then. Give me that. Uh, I'm sorry, did you want something? You're gonna have to give something, buddy. Give I'll me a give gold. You punctures. Punctures. Pee 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 pee. I ain't scare you. So. <laughs> I'm gonna cast that on myself. And then. I'm gonna keep. Keep my dragon's breath up by like continuously like pounding on my chest and and doing a burp but the burp itself has fire because that's the choice that's the color i'm choosing the type i'm choosing mm -hmm. so i'll be like Ugh. <laughs> and so then i'm like just preparing to leap at him okay if yeah. I now would that just put me mid-air for my next turn mm, or at the end of your turn you drop 500 feet yeah huh. Always, uh, if you end your turn in a space, you uh, on your t on that turn, if you are hovering, you plunge five hundred feet. But okay. in this scenario, you would just plunge the fifty to the ground. Yeah. To the ground, yeah. Unless you had some form of flight. So yeah, you can uh, ready yourself to to jump into the air, get your dragon's breath prepared. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, next turn, the flames. Uh, I like that sort of superhero stance kind of situation. Kneeling down, the fire <laughs> building up, getting ready for the lunge. Um, I love it. The 
next turn is Pollen. Well, because he flew so high, I was going to say, oh, because he's the bane of my existence, I was going to cast mm -hmm. bane, but it's 30 feet off, so I have to go back to my 121, which is Guiding Bolt again. Guiding uh, Bolt, it's a great spell. And hopefully I'll hit bolt. something. Sorry. Yes, hopefully I'll do something. Okay. See that roll? Oh, you grabbed a lot of stuff. <laughs> I like the sound effect. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> These dice. <laughs> These dice. I'm so sorry. The beam fires out. Um, and as it does, sort of lunging your magic forth, these huge arcane, uh, holy divine blasts, um, just unable to connect. They're firing through the sky. You're causing them to have to dodge and roll out of the way of these heavy, heavy hits. Uh, but none of them are able to land on his person. The further away he gets, the smaller the target. Um, and it becomes more difficult for you to land this stuff. The pain in your shoulder, the pain from before... Um, making it all more difficult in the moment. Um, you still have a movement if you wish to reposition yourself, or you can uh, you can chill. I think you can easily tell that Piper is about to jump the hell out of your way, so I don't know if you want to get behind a new friend or not. I'm going to be, go behind my um, trusty Irma. I'm just gonna just you just see her stumbling in your yeah. anger behind her, just like this is what are they trying this for? I, 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 I did so much more. It's cool. Yeah, you go right behind my Yilva. I love it. Um, the Yilva, you are next. I still, still fire him with the crossbow. Okay. I'm gonna do it with my plus four, which is gonna be awesome. Plus four. Yeah. Shit. Twenty dirty. <laughs> the eight. Ah, uh, two. Two. Oh, <laughs> two. Better than me. Pluck two in another through the through the wings. Um, Inerva follows up your uh, shot to fire again, unless you need to move anywhere. Uh, I think I'm going to stay in front of your <laughs> of your of your of your pollen. Yeah. Inerva misses. <laughs> the shot goes off. I hate this fucking man. Too far. Me. I know. <laughs> she gets right under him. Uh, she loads the uh, the next uh, bolt here. Um, Kalik, we snuck up on him. I was gonna snap his wings with my hands. God damn it! Okay, how do I? Oh, that's how I flip myself. All right, he is going to dash around this corner. Okay. Uh, fifteen feet because he has to unprone himself. Yep. He's going to take his gauntlet out. He's gonna point it at a big, healthy rock, and he's Ooh. gonna magnetize it. Aim it at this thing, and he's gonna catapult. It. I love yes. it. I love that. So, so, it's a cool so spell. Please give me another really stupid dexterity saving throw. Okay. Please. All right, here at we least go. they're all saves. It's not like AC or something. I wish it was AC. I'd have an easier time hitting the AC. I think he got a fourteen. Ah, like... <laughs> uh, it's one above. Okay. Yeah, he moves <laughs> out of the way. It's a cantrip for catapult, right? No, it's a first level spell. Okay. Um, no half damage, no effect? Nope. All right. Yep. Moves out of the way as another thing launches at him. There's so much firing up in his direction. Um, he's able to get out of the way. Definitely looks frustrated at how much uh, artillery uh, is happening in this moment. Um, I'm going to go prone again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I, believe, I believe you can go prone with just five feet of movement. So, yeah. You get can prone, prone spree. Is I, prone free? I, I thought it was five feet of movement. It is. Fr it is free to like drop prone. Oh, but because is... getting up is a detriment. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, poof, to the ground. Yep, um, and I'm gonna have my um my my little doggy boy. He's gonna aid me. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the three. Um. The it is Carr's turn, and goodness, this round. I think it's I think it's split between Nerva and Piper. No one else was able to do anything in the moment. He's not or not Piper, sorry, Nerva and Yilva. Um, <laughs> we'll give two to Yilva because he's already trying to get rid of Yilva, and we'll do one to one to Nerva. 
All right. Um, oh yeah, I spent two last time, and this is another. T this is maybe another three. Actually, it would have been three. So he's uh, he's running. You can see that the tail spikes. There aren't uh, that many left in the like the the tail is looking bald. Thank you. Um, but still enough for for this round. Maybe the next. Um, the the shot is going to go. We'll do we'll do Yilva first. Um, I believe both of those hit. I got a fifth or no, a twenty and a fifteen. Yeah, they both do. Okay, AC is fifteen. Roger. Ouch. Oof. Um. Okay, let me just get the third. So. Uh, 19 points of damage. Ouch. Uh, Ow. uh, 1 HP. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Alright, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's a thing like where she like puts her hand up to stop it and it just right through. Yeah, stiff through and then another one probably through the leg. Uh, yeah. Like uh, cosmetically sure. pinning you in the situation. Alright, this one's going to uh, Inerva, who I believe that does manage to hit. And we'll deal... Oof. Ten. Yeah, that hurts a nerve, God. too. Why does he roll so hot, dude? This guy. <laughs> we gotta yeah, man, kill it's him. It's those D8s, man. I'm rolling sevens and eights and sixes. Uh, yeah, fires down at a nerva. <laughs> just goes right through the shoulder, down through the armpit. Uh, and, yeah, just blood and pain. Uh, Yilva looks... Very, very, very damaged. Very, very hurt. Lots of blood. Very looking similar to Pollen last time. Just covered in the. She's got four bolts in her. Um, and he's. He's gonna keep going up. I am healing you. Don't you dare die on Get me. Ready. He's getting ready to not be a. I'm trying to save my casualty. feature for something super important. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, how it is Piper's turn. Um, how high up is he? At this point, I would say he's like at that sort of next tier. Uh, instead of like sixty foot spells, I would say anything over a hundred will will probably hit him. Okay. I am going to take a few steps back so that way I'm ten feet from the edge. You know, like that. Yeah. That. Uh, and then I just run and I leap. Now yeah. jump. With this spell, it triples my jump, so I believe my jump normally would be six mm. is now high jump would normally be six is now Let me look at you really 18. Quick. you get a strength oh. bonus too don't you yeah your, it's a, a your feat jump equal to three plus your strength it would be my strength is three it would be your your jump is eight um your normal oh. jump is eight feet because it's half your strength um a long jump for you is um double that so it would be 16 feet and then if you're tripling it then you're coming out at around 45, 50 feet with the jump. 16 times 3? Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so around like 40, it's so about 50 feet. 48. And then you have a range of, is it 30 on the flames? On the flames, it's, no, it's 15. It's 15. Um, so you're 48 in plus 15 would be 16. But I'm, I, I'll not use the flames if I can't reach it. Yeah. 53? Yeah, obviously. Uh, the uh, in this situation, I want you to make an athletics check. Do it. Oh, you do. You got this. You got more strength than me. Uh, it should be in your strength. Okay. Uh, in your square. Yeah, your I'm sorry. Spells. It just says. Oh no, I'm sorry. That was my bad. Okay. I got confused by the way my thing was. Okay, Your I got athletics this. is just a three. Yep. Plus three. What do we? Uh, get? fourteen. Fourteen total. Yes. Okay, you launch yourself in the air. We see you go flying up 10, 20, 30, 40 all the way up towards him. Uh, you see your opportunity to uh, to unleash the flames as uh, he sees you launching at him the, the distance that you are going um, I think uh, just sort of baffled by this uh, 
this literal bugbear flying through the sky at him. He, I think, loses a beat in the in the wings and drops just a little bit enough that you can uh, you can go for flames. Uh, I'm giving this situation to you, even Bunger though it doesn't dragon. work mechanically, because the flare on this shit is lit. So. Hell, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Cool he, still, he, gets, he still gets to make a deck saving throw. He does, he does. Uh, I, oh, no. Or he takes half, so it's still still a situation, oh, I think. Oh, yeah, at least, at least he takes half. At least he takes half. It's not the completeness. Dragon's breath, yeah. Okay, well. yeah. All right, he got a 14. Um, uh, mine should be... 12, so... Yeah, he is able to pass, um, but the yeah. flames will still uh, lick the creature. Um, so I believe it's... Is it 3d6? Yeah, but then half. But then half, so go ahead and roll that for me. So that's four oh. damage. Four oh, so cool for four nothing. Damage. Four damage. Four damage. Oh, about nothing. Does he drop? The flame... Does he drop him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you did not but drop guess him. who does? I drop. You do drop, and oh, um, no. I will say with this distance of roll for me <laughs> 66, because we know that you were at least 60 feet off the ground. God, I wish I had feather fall right now. <laughs> I wish I had feather fall right now. I'll, I'll actually roll it for you. This is this is game damage. Um, yeah, let me... oh, it's not I was going to collect it's everyone's. Well nope. <laughs> I'll get it for you. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Um <laughs> Oh god, sixty-six could kill me. Uh, oh, uh no. twenty-two points of damage as you slam into the ground. That is exactly my health, so I'm at zero <laughs> as soon I I jump, I breathe so epic. I flat. Take take inspiration. Take inspiration. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. see you launch. Can you just describe to me this whole series of events, Kristen? <laughs> so the last turn, the the thing flies further away. The manticore flies further away, and then out of nowhere, I I Piper gets really calm, and then he does that like neck crack that I can't do, <laughs> and then he does the arm stretch, and then he huh, loosens himself out. He does a squat, two squats goes oh come on and you see little flames and then after everyone does a little bit he takes a step he takes a few steps back and then just sprints to the edge of the cliff as soon as he gets to the edge he jumps off and then it's like that like mouth agape tongue out blah, 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 blah. <laughs> he looks very like a basketball player like arms flailing legs running <laughs> as it happens and then, um, as he gets really close, he goes, <gasps> and then he breathes out, but it almost sounds like a burp, too. It's like, <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and then, but the problem is it's a little too short, so it, get, it licks at the manticore's, like, toes. Yeah, it, like, and, so, and he's like, up. <laughs> and then, um, as he's falling, as he realizes, he only, like, barely touched the manticore with his flames, he goes, oh, and then you hear that all the way, oh, bam. Uh, oh I would actually, in this scenario, because I'm thinking of this uh, situation and just realized it, I want you to roll a, um, I want you, uh, let's just make a, I just want a base luck situation. I'm going to present you with uh, a very holy item. It's called the quarter. Um, Yay. <laughs> heads is good, <laughs> tails is bad. So flip that bad boy like you would a dice. Heads is good. Okay. 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 Uh, so as you go into the ground and you see the quarry below, solid stone, you also... I don't think you have time to see it, but our camera catches that there's a lot of piles of corpses down here. A lot of half-eaten flesh, a lot of bodies. And as you plunge down with so many opportunities to hit stone, instead you manage to slam into a pile of corpses. It still hurts like hell. You take... Um, 11 points of damage, not the 22 I originally did, and you poof to the ground, and you sink into a pile of corpses. You are prone, um, and I think you're probably currently restrained, since you are so, also in this pile of you, corpses. So to adjust the scene, as I fall, oh, yeah. and then instead of a hard, because it wasn't going to be a true flat, it was going to be a hard, like, knock stop, where you're like, done. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, did he get up? No, no, he didn't. Instead, it goes into the pile of corpses, you don't see any movement, but you hear, ah! <laughs> yes. ah! But 
but it's muffled it's... underneath the corpse. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Epic turn. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> anytime people do crazy shit like that, I have to. I need to know more. Uh, so that is uh, your turn, Piper. Pollen, you just watched. You just witnessed this. Everybody did. Uh, what a. <laughs> Uh, you've, you've, you've been releasing these huge arcs of arcs of power. Uh, what do you want to do on, on this on this this chance? Well, I was going to shoot at my crossbow, but now I see my friend, dear friend, looking as funny <laughs> as I was. So I'm going to look at Yerva and gonna hug her leg. I'm going to say, all of this world is for you. And I'm going to just cast my healing word on her. Okay, uh, that is a bonus yep. action um, to yep. do, and you do a 1d4 plus your wisdom modifier. She's just down on one knee, yeah. She's been lanced by these yep. tail spikes. So. so your wisdom modifier is a 2, so just a d4 plus a 2. And that is only a bonus action, so you will still retain your main action. Nice, you gain 5 hit points. Oh, I'm at 6! So 5 hit points. I hug Some you. of those wounds, yeah. Okay, because right here, maybe that is much more easier for me to hug your actual shoulders and be like, yeah. so for you. And then, she's, if I have an action, she's going to support her cross, but like, okay, magic doesn't work. Just to do something. <laughs> Fire so. away. The higher Pollen. he flies, the harder he'll fall, right, guys? Finish this shit, Pollen. <laughs> oh my god. Would you get a 14 plus what? Plus three. That so is? Seven. Oh, yeah. yeah, you I hit him. Me. Yeah, 14 plus so, three is a hit. My, okay, I throw then, my craft was 1d8 plus one, so 1d8, where are you? I'm so, okay, okay. Is this my d8? I cannot tell anymore. I'm panicking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to. Looks no, like, look like this, yeah. This one. See, so like, like that. Like two pyramids on. It's a pyramid attached yes, together. It's a pyramid one. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Uh, Roll an eight. Max damage. Uh, four. Four, 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 four. Four. Plus one. Five. Five. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a, a body strike goes right into. Right into the uh, the the furred flesh. Uh, right underneath into the belly. <laughs> in. Um. The, the, the Wait, ever... do I have a bonus from also my crossbow thing from Taylor still? Uh, you will not. You damage. used your bonus action. Oh yeah, no, you did have a plus one, so it would have dealt an extra damage. Yeah. So that's a six. 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 Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So yeah. imagine the pawn here and then like just a crazy eyes and like. Okay. <laughs> crossbow it is. Sorry. All right. Yeah. The uh, no, you're good. The uh, yeah, fires <laughs> right into it. Uh, that hit, you can see the the look of uh, Garor shift uh, from a, a look of uh, malice to a look of panic, um, and uh, his wings start to beat a lot Quick. louder. Um, it is going to be Yilva, your turn. Okay, crossbow it is. Just gonna look up to at me him. when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> after uh, <laughs> after getting some healing and just cock it up and yeah. bastard <laughs> and take a shot. Get him. As he tries to him. escape. I got plus four. Come on. <laughs> Get him. Get him. That hits. 18. That hits. All right. That hits. That's a two. <laughs> a two. <laughs> it's a Plugs. fucking two. Right into right goes through another wing. Uh, as it uh it gets uh, it's ready to uh, move again. Um, I'll, I'll wait for its turn. I'll see if it even makes it there. It's a Nerva's turn, and Nerva and Kayla get to go before. It does. So Nerva, right after wait, Yelva. What's up? Before before Yelva's turn oh, is yeah, over, uh, can you pass it to me? Yeah, she's gonna just kind of limp limp forward and sort of like hand it out and drop it over the edge toward you. Okay, right. yeah. Okay, look. You grab it. All right, I grab it. Um, Finish it. The, it is, I, I would just say your free action on your turn is expended to grab it. So yeah, yeah. that makes sense to me. It's like a, it's like a pass off situation. Um, the, all right, Nerva's going to take her shot. Aim up old reliable, old reliable hits. Watch old reliable kill him. 
Yeah. <laughs> she, God, just... she would be unbearable if she got the kill on this thing. I'm... He's so close. That's so sad. She fires again. It's a body shot <laughs> right into it. Blood starting to pour out. Uh, at this point, it letting out a, a cry that's just a few octaves higher than before as that one really hit a pain point. Can't take another hit. Can't. Oh, okay, like, like you can end this. You, you can on. see it. You can see it. You can see it sort of wavering. I will say to add to the intensity of this move, Kalik, um, the uh, Garor in this moment, seeing that uh, seeing that there is a there is a really strong chance of death, uh, turns his final remaining because he's only got three left. Tail spikes down. They pass all of you and all point down at Adabara. Oh, oh fuck! Spiteful bitch. Oh. Do it. Ryan, if he doesn't hit completely, I can maybe do something. <laughs> Come to the bones, Adabara. Come to the bone. <laughs> she can move. What would you like to do, Kayla? Oh, shit. oh, I thought he was... No, that was me. Okay. I wanted to He's intensify looking. your turn. Like, gotcha. <laughs> like, that's all. Like, that's knowing what will happen if he lives. Is dead. Okay, okay. No pressure. You grab the you grab the crossbow. That's your free action spent. Yep, you got I it. Grab in the hand. crossbow. Can I, I wheel it around. Can I before you roll? Is there like? Do I have inspiration? The only can person, you, the only other person with inspiration at the table is uh, is uh, Piper. Can right, I? So. Can you give inspiration? Uh, yes, turn, you can give it to other yeah. people. But on your turn, you have to explain. It. It's it's cool to explain how you're inspiring them in the moment. You are in a corpse pile, so I leave that up to you. <laughs> if you think you can describe a way that you're I going would... to inspire them, it's just a zombie arm with a thumbs up and just kind of sneaks <laughs> out. <of you. laughs> that would be so great. I I kind of want to give it to him. Up. Well, wait and see what Kayla's gonna do. Kyle hasn't decided okay. on his move what he's going to do. Right. I mean, it's fairly obvious I'm gonna shoot him with my crossbow. All right, that would that could be an inspiration, if you want to try for it. So I, you see, you see, um, Piper climb out. You see his hands and then his shoulders and then his head, like pops out, out of the the corpse pile, and he's laughing raucously. He's like, ah, 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 and he's just having the time of his life and he looks up he's like holy crap he's almost dead and then gives you a thumbs up <laughs> like training thumbs right. up you see a little heart that comes with it and it tells you you got a little notification that piper likes this that you gave there's no more inspiration at the table currently you have advantage calic <sighs> little little message in the corner piper liked that <laughs> yeah roll for okay. 2d20 Okay, cool. So yeah, he grabs the crossbow, he wheels around, he aims it, and 20. I'm going to grab two... Where's my other? Can I multiply this d20 somehow, or do I have to roll it twice? Um, Here, you roll it take twice. Mine. Or take, take theirs, oh. yeah. However you want to do it. Take mine. You're, okay. you're rolling. I'm giving you inspiration. This, take this mine. is the inspiration dice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the good news is I have a plus six to hit. So this is, oh, yeah. this is looking really good. Oh, buddy, come on. Uh, come, on come on, come on. 15. Oh, yeah, 15. 15. That's definitely a hit. Sweet. Or no, uh, 22, right? Because plus six. Holy shit. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Three. <laughs> uh, How much damage? Three. Three. Oh, uh, yeah, one, two, plus the plus one from the crossbow. For, th for three big ones, I'm gonna show. You, I'm gonna show you guys how much HP he has. He still got one, doesn't he? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh right. my god! Jesus! You All didn't right, deserve my inspiration, by the way. You next see you see you look back at Piper and his bones and his thumbs up just immediately goes to a thumbs down. It was already oh, a thumbs down by the time the screen. No, I, actually, that was um. I'm looking at the dice again. We we mistook it. I Actually, I we... had my thing over it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I guess what he is going to do is he's going to use his movement, and he is going to 
uh, throw himself in front of her. <laughs> him, him and his him and his trusty companion. Okay. Um, you move to throw yourself in front of her. Uh, um, yeah, like, down, Mr. President. Sort of like dropping prone, <laughs> dropping Mr. prone. Obama, get down! Dropping prone, prone around her effectively. Uh, if I can, if I can have actually, could I have my uh, companion force her prone? Or she's already prone. I'm, you know, she's yeah. Okay, yeah. So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna lay over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you move over be okay you move over and move yourself in in the way of fire i will give you inspiration um oh he gets one now i yeah. will give you i will give you inspiration okay like for doing that uh because there is a chance that you will suffer a shot i'm gonna take this quarter it's for me uh <laughs> uh situating yourself in this uh in this i'll give it to you without having to take a dodge action i love it uh yeah you throw yourself on top of uh, abadala um and uh it turns uh looking at at, at the situation it is haggard bloody uh the droplets are falling its flesh is ripped it's filled with bolts it's burned uh the last few you can tell its wings are are weakened in the moment though it will try and get further away but before it does that it turns down and looks at abadara you sort of clean over to it doesn't care in the moment he li he looks down and says if i can't have you no one can and he will launch all three of those bad boys down in that direction. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna coin flip. Uh, do you want to be heads or tails? I'm gonna say tails because that's he's totally gonna bust my butt with this. Get it, tails. <laughs> okay, oh. tails. Oh. All right. Oh yeah, tail spikes. <laughs> that, that was much wittier than what I came up with. Oh. All right. Shit. First <laughs> shot. In before character death. This is gonna be the first one. It's gonna hit her. <laughs> this one hits her. <laughs> oh, oh shit! shit. Alright, so but you, like, yeah, I, well, your I gotta one I gotta roll. Gonna hit her hand. It's gonna be aiming at her, but I gotta roll for the for the hit. Um, all right. Um, it's with disadvantage too because she's prone. Um, I believe her. She's just a commoner. I don't even know what commoner armor class is. Let me take a look. It's just, I think like, it's just 10. Yeah, I think it's say. just 10. I believe it's... I was like, throw the die. We need to run over there really quickly. The, the commoners are just like 10 across the board. Yeah. All right. Um, It will... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it'll hit her. Um, um, There's no way it doesn't drop her to zero. It does, it, it does too much damage. Even if he got a one. So it fires right into her. Uh, so you go to lunge out of the way, fires into her, and immediately she was like semi-conscious, still kind of not being dazed. But as she struck, she looks at you, uh, Calyx, you've sort of lunged on, and her eyes roll back and you feel her body go uh, completely unconscious and she's starting to bleed out. But there are more heading her way. Um, we'll see if they hit her or you. No. <laughs> all right flipping the coin she's still prone this so one's at, at you um kyle with this um yeah i caught a lot of them for you so <laughs> a 13 oh good all right that's me down um it did oh, it really? did hit you oh oh i thought you said damn 13 to hit no. 13 to hit that me. did not hit me Okay, perfect. Yeah, the okay. next fires, uh, and I think I think it like bounced tung, off the metal of your companion. I like that, the situation. And the last shot, heads or tails, to see who it's going after. It's hitting her. She will take two failures. Two failures. Ah, yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah, because she's she's going at the end of the round. That's why it was. Uh, it it hits her. I mean, uh, and that the minute that's a hit, um, since she's down, I believe she immediately takes two. 
um, to death saving fields. At least I think it well, works that way. Well, I think it's only melee because melee is crit, right? So that loses two. I think we we I did this so. before in two. Yep. I think if a ranged hit, it would be a one. Yeah, failure. it would just be one. So she fails one. Um, and then he's going to uh, hope that's enough. And uh, he's going to continue flying the fuck up. At this point, only the longest range stuff is going to attract him. I would say anything anything past, it's got to be well past 150 feet. Uh, he's not even in fireball range, I would say. It would take something... You would be maxing out the shots of your um, crossbows uh, to hit at him. And I would like someone to roll a d4... Um, minus one to see how many rounds it takes for um, him to just be gone. Because uh, at this point, he is out of the range of his shots, I believe, as well. I got a d4. Let's do this. Um, no, he could still technically do it. Do it first. Do he's out of shots. I'm not going to lift him anymore. Three. So two, two rounds. Be two before rounds, he's gone. and only, I would say, only anything past, it's got to be well past 150 feet to, to, to get to him. Uh, as he makes his way up, very, very, very wounded. Um, it is Piper's turn. Uh, you are. Can I? <laughs> What's can up? I jump out of these pile of yeah. bones? You're currently restrained. You can make an Damn athletics it. check to get out as your action, <laughs> since you plunged from <laughs> 60 yeah. feet in the air into this pile, which is six stories, <laughs> almost. It's quite a few stories. Okay, and we got ooh, oh yeah, uh, you're 22. out. Twenty-two. You're out. Um, okay. you, you rip yourself out of the pile. Yes. Um. Ugh. You are no longer restrained. Yes. True. And okay, so that's all of my that's my action and my movement, right? Just your action. Your movement would have been fifteen feet to get up, effectively. You still have 15 feet of movement. You could probably go anywhere down here. Um, I'm going to head towards something so that next time, because I still have jump on me because it lasts a full minute. Mm -hmm. So I want to start running towards a ledge that I can parkour jump it off of. So I'm going to head, I'm going to start taking a running start for that shit. Roger. Yep. You're getting ready to jump up uh, further. Perfectly fine. Yep. You rip your and way then, out of the pile, uh, get ready to jump up rather than take the path, which I think is totally a Piper thing. Uh, that makes yeah. sense. Um, and it is Pollen's turn. It's a medic. <clears throat> I'm going to, with my also happy <laughs> nimbleness, run if I can to her. Can I do that? Uh, you can jump down if you want. Uh, if you want to try to take the uh, uh, each of these, each of these things are about like eight feet or so. So you're gonna take a d6 damage every time you every time you fall. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, 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 how can I do this? Give me a second. Or you can go around the edge, which is very Kill very him. long. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> okay, because I can do the spare the dying now, or I can try to kill him. Uh, well, is Spare the Dying at a range? I'm sorry, I have to touch the death one until I get to You her. have to touch. So you could jump down, take 2d6, if you want to just jump straight down, part of your movement. I have five hit points. Oh god, yeah, you can break your legs! Uh, getting die, down to her, walking is very far, because of the way the ledge works. Okay. As a medic, I would like to heal her, but I know that as a medic... <laughs> Cannot be if you have any, cannot... if you have any spell slots left, uh, healing word is at range. You don't. Oh my oh, god! <laughs> the scenario, oh, god. the scenario. So, she's going to like. Uh, so she's gonna move as far as she can on the edge. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I think I would, I would say you could probably make it. Like it's only gonna take maybe two, two full turns of movement to get around this edge. Like another time and another turn, and you're down there. She's still got okay, two so, death saves. She can... so I'm gonna right there, right? So... Yep. yep. Okay. And I'm going to try to shoot him with my crossbow. Okay. That's what I can only do. So, yippee Okay. Let's see where my d20. And there it is. Okay. Okay. I still have the... Crossbow. It's with, uh, it's with disadvantage, uh, but it would have... Uh, it's a three already, so... Fires up, just 
just shoots in the air. It's at this time just a it's a pure luck hitting him from this far away. Um, that's your action, your movement. Um, turn. Paula. I'm thinking. Oh. I don't think you have a bonus. I don't believe you have a bonus. <laughs> I don't believe so either. So. Um, it I'm is. Just panicking. Panicking a lot. It is a uh, Yilva. I'm going to probably move over with the rest of the group. So this is the first here. round to shoot at him. You guys will get one more chance before he's out of there. Uh, so after I think standing up so there's no obstruction. Probably just move around the edge of the, the Perfect. quarry. Okay. And then disadvantage, right, with the crossbow? It's going to be disadvantage. Oh, no, shit, I don't have it because Kalik still has it. Kalik <gasps> has it. That's right. Oh, uh, uh, you're too, yeah. too far <laughs> away. You could just come down here. And you could jump down so there I if you to... want. Oh, my God. I only have six HP. I <laughs> Unless I rage first and have the damage. <laughs> yeah, Kaelic used all his movement to get down there. Yeah. Fuck. You could also break your legs and jump is lethal. Uh. You could swing over to a nerve and beg her for old reliable. No, well, no, hang on. So. What? That's gonna be a contest to take old reliable from her. What's what's the range of the hand axe thrown? Oh, you're not reaching him. <laughs> That's not no. No. Okay. no, he's beyond 150 feet. I guess maybe uh, if he had jump. Maybe. Yeah, maybe if I had. Uh, be a really good jump. That'd, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Um, no, I think probably just moving over, kind of keeping overwatch on the party, and take one knee and like start pulling, pulling the spines out. Yeah. You want body. uh take you want to take the you can take the dodge action if you want that's a, not a bad suggestion or you can um you can go no action it's completely up to yeah, you yeah I think yeah, probably like um, shield out dodge shield action out. I think that makes sense. yeah how uh how steep is are they they're just eight feet they're eight feet but you get a you get a full d d six damage for each for each drop <laughs> yeah I can't, I can't take it. <laughs> Yeah, if, Even if it's halved, <laughs> it'll, it would only be it only be one if you swing all the way around and drop. But I'm pretty sure swinging all the way swinging all the way around is going to be a little a lot. It's going to take a lot of movement. Um, yeah. The no, no way I could just for future reference or if it's pertinent to the situation. Um, it says because uh, I was curious. I forgot about this when climbing, like climbing up and down. Mm -hmm. It's one extra feet of movement. Yeah, um, so he, you could climb and do, um, you could climb and do, uh, uh, So it'd be like 16 it, feet to move down to the next ledge. It would be, yeah, so it would be, I would be like a total 30 feet, I would say, to get all the way down both ledges. It would be about 30 feet. Like, it would be, it would be your full movement to get. All but I'd have to, like, burn my action, and would, I don't have multi-attack yet. Burn your so. movement to get to the bottom. Yeah. It would just be your movement. It it doesn't say you need to spend uh, an action. It just it costs more movement. So you you would still have an action when you got to the bottom. You would have an action when you got to the bottom. There would be a distance between you and uh, and uh, Kalik though. Yeah, there would be. Toss me. Toss me. <laughs> You're gonna have to toss me. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. If we if we can't like if we yep. can't like baton so hand off, then there's no. Do the shield. Yeah, shield up. Yeah. Make sure like we can stop any extra. If you throw the shield, if you were on this ledge, perhaps. <laughs> um, the okay, Wonder Woman, Captain America, shit going on. Okay. <laughs> All right, old reliable at disadvantage. Oh god, she could still kill him. She could still. Ki it's only one HP. I'll He'll land you, on though. her. And natural, she'll die. natural one. She goes to shoot, and then just boom, and then the the arrow falls out next to her. Says, "Oh god." Damn it, this whole fucking thing as he fucking so lives. Um, uh, and. Oh, you yeah, have another shot. Um, and it is a death saving throw for Abadara. Okay, I need to break my legs. Okay. Well, you don't have to, it just takes extra. She's movement. still got a couple failures. She's still, still oh. good for now. You see, uh, uh, yeah. She's not looking good. <clears throat> um, it probably doesn't help that I'm laying on her right now. <laughs> Kayla, it is your turn. <laughs> Can you breathe? <laughs> oh. uh, all right, so I need to decide if I'm gonna. Sh I'm shooting him. I'm, I'm, I have a bad medic score. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna get up. Um, you're gonna use spare the dying. Yep. Okay. If I'm gonna cool. shoot him, if I'm gonna shoot him, I'm gonna just try spare the dying on her. I'll do it because I can. Um, that's 
failed. Roger Dodger. So over here, I'm gonna roll both of these dice. They're both gonna be super high because I really want to kill this guy because he he's he's cocked me this whole fucking fight. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, both, two 11s. both elevens. Those are both seventeens. That hits. Oh, oh my god. Yes. God, I'm so gonna fucking. How do you want to do this? It's only one H. You don't need to. Oh, fucking, okay. You don't need to roll. Fine. You're good. All right. Uh. Oh my god. I think what what's happened is in this in the moment all those spikes just riddled both uh her and myself. He's going to roll over so that he's laying on his back and he's going to aim that crossbow up. He's pulling a Velfine. As pretty yeah, it's come full circle. <laughs> He's going to aim that crossbow up, and as the bolt completes construction, he's just going to fire it and then lose the last bit of strength. Arms, like, dead at his side. And, yeah. yeah. We just see it. We just see it go. And I think it's a scene where we kind of see the camera behind you um, as the uh, as the shot goes off. I feel like the music should change. I feel like the music should should shift in this uh, in this moment for me. I'm so happy. Um, oh, my God. So oh uh, I, I never want to fight this guy a third time. Like, come on! <laughs> While you're changing the music, uh, I would like to describe exactly what happens when he fires it because I've yeah. never really been able to fire it. Keep going. Yeah, I thought you were. I thought you had, had well, finished. Keep going. So what this thing uh, does is it almost uh, it it magnetically propels constructed ammunition, so it almost makes a small lightning crack of light that just when it shoots so it's just this thin line of white electric light that it. that pierces him i love it from this distance we can see him like i imagine with the camera shot it's just like at that perfect sort of ground angle looking up but we can see you in sort of the bottom of the screen firing and it arcs and just the drama of the moment we can see it in the distance almost like a dot like a bird and it just goes off and then like we watch almost the stain in the scene like a silence as the wings turn in and it begins to uh curl down it's at a distance enough that you don't hear it and it, this is this is going to be symbolic <laughs> I unlocked it. Um, right on top in, of in Nerva, Inverna. I'm gonna have a Nerva make a quick check. Really quick. Oh no! I'm gonna have a Nerva make a quick dexterity save. I, I can just see her like looking up, arms stretched wide. Bring it. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Am I right? Oh, Nerva. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no. All right. Am I healing? Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm not, I don't even know if I should roll this. All right, so he's 150. Eight. Oh. oh, my God. If I'm going to heal her? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Inner, if Inerva dies, we don't have to worry about you taking her share. As a matter of fact, we take her share. All right. I'm just gonna... We'll share if she dies. Oh, my God. If she's dead, we can't win the bet. Oh. No, clearly, Paul and one. If you never dies. Well, she said if somebody <sighs> dies in there, I'd imagine. Um, is 55 enough to auto kill? 55? Wait, it's what? gotta, it's um, gotta be. It's gotta um, be double. I don't think it is. So wait, wait, wait. <gasps> 30, 30, 32 plus 22 is 55, isn't it? It's more. It's. Oh my god, 54. it's. So 50. Okay. She's dead? She's dead. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh wow! I fucking called it. Okay. Oh my god! It was just enough that's, to kill. Holy that's shit! Instant death too. There's no saves. There's for no that. saves. There's no anything. I was like, is it enough? Because she's only at 22 HP. It went over. Fuck. We see it go down. Oh my god! And I think we get a scene. She had just fired, and the bow and the arrow fell to the ground. She's picking it up and getting ready to load, and she looks up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Into the ground. And just <laughs> wings splayed out. Um, we're still technically in initiative because Hadabara is at risk. I'm going to go um, to her while well looking at this display of like, oh my, oh that my was, god. That was Kalik's turn. <laughs> um, the next person to go is Piper. I just want to mention one other thing. 
Uh, he was in range for one more shot in Abadala, and that's how many tail spikes he had left. So, okay. The, uh, the, how many more? He only had one left? He had one oh left, God. and he was going to get Down it. Down on the wire. So, uh, nervous life for Ad Adabaras. Holy shit. Um, and, uh, yeah, so whose turn is next? It is Piper. Yeah. Piper parkours it up, but I don't want to jump back. I want to jump up to where Nerva is. So yeah, you can you can get up there with jump. a full movement. You can climb. You have thirty feet. You should be able to climb to the top. Um, I I grab Inerva's arm, and very uh, Inerva, unceremoniously. There's no arm. Grabbed. Oh, then you, I stand there and go. Was, oh, you don't see Inerva. You don't see Inerva. Oh shit! You just see you just see the splayed out corpse of this huge creature, <laughs> and the sort of dent in the ground. By the wing, and I'm gonna. Pull, like, see if I can pull. Make an athletics side. check. Awkward. Fuck. And she told me not to die. Uh, I'm 19. 19. Um, yeah, you pull uh, uh, enough over that you are able to peer an arm. I gotta use the bathroom. Go for it. An arm. And it's, uh, it is a nervous arm, and you see that it is just shattered. I'm gonna I'm gonna slap at it a little as if like maybe it'll move. Dead. And then I'll look over the ledge to the friends and I go, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back about my business, which is going to the Manticore. Like then I completely don't give a shit about her. And I go back to the Manticore and I start like ripping out claws and ripping out teeth, and I'm gonna save the shit out of this. <laughs> Paul, okay, it's Pollen's turn. Pollen, you're you're gonna hate me, uh, but huh? your movement gets you to the bottom. It doesn't get you directly to her. You could choose. So to... my halfling nimbleness. You only have thirty feet of speed. Is <laughs> the situation? And you'd have to burn your action. You'd have to burn your to action to dash. You you would get to the bottom here. You could choose to jump down right now and risk one d six, or you could climb down. Actually, you could just climb down and be safe climb down is the is the choice you want to do here because she's okay. right there if you follow the ledge it's not going to work out i would just climb down and you will be able to be next to abadar i'm going to climb down then yeah i was just i was a little worried like i don't know if you're gonna get that off but you we have established that climbing is is a thing that's doable here yep you can climb right down be right next to her you still have 15 feet of movement left um you have your action you have your bonus action spare the dying mm -hmm. Yes, please. I yeah. want to spare the dying. What does it look like? Um, for me, spare the dying. I haven't had, I haven't used this yet because I was bald. So, <clears throat> you see my weasel again, okay? But it's a different color of a weasel. This one is much more, uh, it's almost like bluish, and it's like much more calmer, like chill, because the other one's pink, and it's just like, eh, it's a rabbit. But overall, this pink one just, I mean pink one, the blue one, will like, go for my hands, and it will like, go around Abadella, and then go on her chest, spin around, and stuff herself and suck into her okay. like a pillow. And you see this blue light go into yeah. Abadala. She uh, is unconscious, but you see yeah. as sifts in there, the wounds begin to stop bleeding. Um, and uh, power. she's no longer she's <laughs> no longer dying. Uh, I think that's an end to I think that's an end to combat round. Um, uh -huh. I want to end the session here, but I want to also give you guys just a moment if you if there's anything you guys want to do before before scene end, um, like last actions before we uh, before we tidy up, and then maybe an intent for where we're going next episode. I am collecting all the manticore teeth, any talon like stuff, any sharp stuff. So a short rest is required. Yeah, I'm chopping okay. off his hands. All right, dang, you got a lot to carry. I'm gonna sell all this shit. I imagine you've moved him over far enough that uh, Nerva is full exposed, and she's just she's just sunk into the ground, and she's just she's just a chalk outline, effectively. Oh my god! I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna touch her because I, apparently I get in trouble every time I grab a corpse roast and eat them so i'll leave this one alone i won't overly except for the manticore yeah i won't overly describe but just she's broken just a shattered body yeah, it's, it's just, like a it's literally like a horse landed on her from 150 feet in the air you don't yeah, survive there'd be that. too many there'd be too many bones i'd have to like i imagine yeah. the bones have now interspersed into the meat so it'd be like I'd there's have a to lot of damage. Out bones all the time 
there's a lot of damage. <laughs> Stomach probably ruptured, so that area is ruined. So we see so you sawing I'm pieces off. I'm not going to eat her. Next anyway. to the corpse. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Yulva, uh, Pollen, any last things? I am holding Abigala by the hand and just looking up where um, the man- manticore fell on. Um, Inverna, like, I, I, I was hoping to win, but not like this. Like, she didn't even see how awesome I am. It's better for dying. No. Abadara's breathing. She's steady. You've got a, a, a her. You know, she's in your she's in your care. Um, yep. You imagine she will need some some rest from uh, uh, you've removed from the impalement uh, in her in her body that lethal strike that you've suffered many of. Uh, she uh, she will survive uh, with your as long as your care remains at her side. Um, I will not leave her until she is speaking yeah. and breathing properly alone. She probably won't wake up until much later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, perfect. She's um, just like crying, be crying. Yeah. She's honestly crying a little bit. Okay, I get that. Yilva. Um, any, yeah. any last things? You are also. I mean, we've established a short rest. I don't know if you're fixing up or you're not looking good either. Uh, I think. I'm not going to spend any hit dice yet. I'm going to wait for Pollen to see if there's any additional, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but seeing the Manticore fall, she'll probably just kind of not fall to her knees, but sort of like release, you know, yeah. and, and maybe sit down and kind of let the shield go and just sort of like, ah. Yeah. There's so much damage. It's just kind of like starting to try to maybe gently start pulling stuff out, maybe field dress some of it. Yeah, but see you rapping. Like, she's pretty busted. She's not going to be jumping down to meet everybody up. She's probably just going to yep. wait for everyone to come to her. So. A mighty foe has been slain. Uh, wow. And uh, you are all definitely... Uh, when, the, when the tales start getting told uh, around Fandolin of this, uh, and I'm sure they will because you have one piper in your party, um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Um, it's it's quite a mighty feat. You have taken out one of the big threats in this area. Nothing compared to Cryovane, but you have taken out a okay. major a major threat in the area. And for this, there will be renown um, to the party. You guys are halfway to level four. You've completed one one more quest in your level four. So the next one, we will be getting a level um, on uh, the completion of this quest. I believe will require you to return to Fandolin and collect your reward. Uh, what will you do with Anerva? I'll ask you next time. We'll see if uh, she's buried out at sea here, or uh, you take her back to uh, her um, her uh, right. mage friend who's cra- his name is somewhere. I have it. Um, um, you have worked with him before. I'm sorry, I don't have it right now. It is fine. Shan Jean. Shan Jean. Return her to Shan Jean. Uh, the only friend she seemed to have in Fandolin. We lost one, but we have defeated uh, Garor and saved um, saved Abadara. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, our boy Kyle uh, had to step away for a moment, but I think we're going to close the session out uh, anyway. Uh, we'll ask him. Uh, we'll ask him his last thing off off stream. Uh, but thank you uh, to those who joined. Oh, to, well, first. Thank you to the cast for being absolutely amazing. You guys are the best. I appreciate you coming and playing Team D with me on Wednesday nights. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, thank you to those who uh, joined us over on YouTube. We're still not streaming this one yet while I'm working from home because I do not want to suck away the bandwidth from my wife who is working uh, quite late. So uh, you will see this over on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by and checking it out. We play on Wednesdays when we can or uh, on days we can't. We might play something different. Uh, but hopefully we get to continue in further into the Dragon of Ice Spire storyline. Um, but very, very cool. That is everything. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. Uh, thank you again, friends, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye!